שני וחמישי. I always like to, uh, we're talking about Chal of Yisrael, part three. I always like to freeze the Chal of Yisrael milk and then um, just deliver it to uh, places where they need it, right? Uh, they can't get it and they need it. They don't drink any other milk, right? It's more than just bringing someone a box of cigars from uh, Embargo. You know, that's a that's a gift with style. Uh, the, what's that movie, Hotel Rwanda, where the guy says, Oh, you're giving me a gift with style. You gave me a box of cigars I can't get, you know, in the middle of Africa. But that's also a necessity. It's not just pleasure. It's a necessity for a person that believes that he could drink no other milk and believes that it's contaminated in some way. So, so I realized that uh, 10 minutes wasn't enough, or 20 minutes if it's two videos, to explain something to someone who uh, doesn't have a background in the history of the religions banning certain foods. It's not like banning certain information. It's not like the tree of knowledge or, or like the... Blackfoot Indians with the woman with the turnip, but she, all the evils of the world come out of it because she was told not to do something. Pandora's box, stuff like that, but certain foods. And the reason's usually different. So the Mormons have something called the words of wisdom, where it's not that God or Jesus spoke to the prophet Joseph Smith and said, you can't uh, have any caffeinated drinks and any alcoholic drinks. That was just words of wisdom that were taught that in the drinks you're not drinking it lishma for the sake of the drink to quench thirst but you're looking for the content of caffeine or the content of the alcohol and in that case it's considered not godly which what is godly in the first place? Is that kindness? Is that cruelty? What, what does that mean? So it is different from the Mohammedan prophecy saying that wine is forbidden. And it's also different from the biblical commandment against unclean foods. So here we're just going to discuss the nature of the creation of these laws. If you believe these laws were never created, you have some magical belief that they were founded uh, before the world, whether you're a Mormon, a Mohammedan, or an Orthodox Jew, then this is not for you. If you follow custom, uh, you believe uh, you follow the religion of your zip code, then uh, education is not for you, or at least not this channel, because what are you, how, is it, how is it going to be helpful? What are you, what are you going to do about it, right? But if you need to know because you need to know, the, that is uh, mankind's, uh, not just right, but it's mankind's ongoing uh, human adventure, like the adventure of science, always finding out new things, or uh, looking up but old, old beliefs and re-examining, then, okay, so we got the godly thing from the Mormons. What, what is ungodly? Drinking something that would give you a caffeine or give you a buzz from alcohol. That was taken on faith. Because philosophically or uh, rationally speaking, that makes no sense. That's complete nonsense. Uh, how could something be ungodly? Because you want something in the drink. If, if anything, for a believer who knows not about uh, the science of the brain's uh, reaction to the drink, he would believe that the uh, vanoshim and the wine is godly. Of course, the Hebrews believed it, so why couldn't Joseph Smith figure that out? For a while, the Mormons were keeping kosher. So, it really doesn't have to make sense, but I'm here only to make sense, because... I'm not speaking about faith. Faith is something that uh, everybody has their faith. And uh, how can I communicate my faith? You have your faith, I have my faith. I can only communicate reason. 
And reason is a universal language. And if, if, we could, if we can't go by reason, what could we go by? So, water is also something that in Yeshiva and Tzfas, they taught us that even water needs a hechsher. Uh, that, um, religiously speaking, I don't have to tell you what kind of joke that is, but uh, scientifically speaking, yes, not too long ago, not 3,000 years ago, but sometimes 200 or 300 years ago, water was dangerous. Uh, you drank water because nothing on this planet can live without water, but it was like playing Russian roulette. And uh, thousands were dying drinking the wrong waters. So water does need a hechsher scientifically, but today we live in a place where it's, uh, we have a good system. We uh, take care of it. We, we don't have to worry. And if there is a danger, you would know about it. If there was a water fountain that killed a few people, you would see the police would come and close it. So you have words of wisdom from the Mormons. You have the Mohammedans that uh, believe maybe that the effects of alcohol are dangerous. Well, of course, that depends on the person. Uh, I'm sure uh, not drinking alcohol is not a solution anyway. People are violent without alcohol. As you can see, the, the entire religion is not... Uh, they're not uh, strangers to violence, internal and to others. So... You have the Chal of Yisrael, which is the unwatched milk. And I uh, just recently saw that someone put up uh, a Chav K, Star K, Chav K something. I'll put the link below. He says, Chal of Yisrael does your soul good. Now, aside from it being a joke, it does play on uh, people at a time of need. One woman, her daughter, suffering from epilepsy and she didn't come from a fundamentalist family she came from a traditional home but she started to give uh, keep it at home Chalav Yisrael and her started to give her daughter so that's um, what happens when uh, not everybody's so sophisticated to be able to understand aside for it being uh, humorous it's not therapeutic, it's not good information, it's, uh, it's bad advice. And people think that uh, when, when you're desperate and you're in need, and yes, sometimes it, times are very tough, and I remember the daughter and the, the epilepsy. She thought keeping Chal of Yisrael would help. But when in fact the person who wrote this, that it will do good for your soul, himself may not have been a believer, but is... Uh, uh, a manipulator and maybe not a conscious manipulator he just doesn't know why he's doing it but he did it and and he lives his life that way just like anybody who who behaves cruel and doesn't know that he's being cruel some people are sadistic but they don't know that there is a a term for it they don't know that what the word sadistic means in the dictionary so um, so to look at the person and say he looks like a fairly nice guy therefore the nature of sadism or or mass manipulation doesn't exist would kind of uh, not make sense uh, immediately. You don't need that much education to understand that there's a break in that link of uh, of logical reasoning. So for for some people, it takes a minute or five minutes to explain how Chol uh, Yisrael became a thing meaning it became a custom. Once it becomes a custom, uh, you really can't help people who are under custom. But, um, and for those who are curious and those who uh, are sophisticated, they're going to come to the reason because they, they don't question everything. They don't uh, uh, ask 10 questions before they start their car in the morning. But they question Enough, just enough to uh, come to, you don't need to question everything. Uh, people think that means you're going to the extreme. 
people think secular means you believe in nothing and you celebrate no holidays. Quite the contrary. You end up celebrating things with more meaning and less delusion. If you question things, you're able to explain it, not just to yourself, but to others. And it becomes less of something that you, oh, you have to be and to understand it. And Well, if you can't explain it, do you understand it yourself? Did you ever ask yourself? So it really, it's not about what you're going to tell somebody else, because in the end, people are moving. So they, ha they gave you the information you need, and they move on. They, they move on. So you don't really have to answer anybody. If you have a OCD, people could uh, direct you to someone, but if you don't ask, and if you ask, but you don't get the help, and if you get the help, but then you go back to it, Canada didn't shield it, as they say in Yiddish.